Hello, Google Slashers, Nagrip here, and welcome back to my channel. Now, for today's video, I will be reacting to the Terrifier 3 official teaser trailer. Man, I have waited all day to react to this trailer. So, with that out of the way, that's enough of me talking. Let's get into this reaction. Alright, this looks old timey already. Alright, flames. Oh, okay. Oh shit. This looks really dope so far. Wow, okay. Holy fuck. I love how this movie looks. Holy fuck. Wow. Christmas comes early this year. Exclusive in theaters October 11th. Holy fuck. Terrifier3.com. Bruh. Holy fuck. That looks... I already really love Terrifier 1 and 2. That actually looks fucking insane. That looks really... I need a little bit of time to fucking process that. I think I just made a... A little bit of snow on my pants, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'll stop that. But, uh, man, I don't even know where to begin. This trailer, man, I know it's just a teaser, but there's just so much. It's it's insane. I definitely... It's so short, right? But there's so much to unpack. Man, this movie looks like, for me, it might be a movie of the year contender. It looks really good. The effects look great. I love how it has that old-timey look to it. Whatever filter they put on for this film, it looks really good. I like how it makes everything look. Art the Crown, like, obviously, Art the Crown looks fucking awesome, obviously. Looks better than ever. Victoria Hayes looks even creepier. Looks like the kills are gonna be fucking crazy in this. I can't fucking wait. I really fucking can't. But let's talk about the poster for Terrifier 3. It shows Art, you know, he's at like, you know, the little Santa throne. Victoria Hayes is sitting on his lap all bloodied up. There's like thorn stuff on her hair. Like, I think it's like a, a thorn crown or something like that. It's apparently a reference to the thorn crown that Jesus Christ wore when he was nailed to the cross. So it seemed like Terrifier 3 will have some biblical themes, especially since it's like set during Christmas and, you know... Some people tie Christianity to Christmas, a lot of people do. And then of course there's the themes of like, Sienna being like a war angel and all that other stuff. I think I can kind of tell what's going on in this poster a little bit. It looks like Santa might be missing a leg there, but like you tell that like his eyes are also missing. He has like an eyeball missing. Like I think one or two teeth missing. And obviously there's a fucking axe wound to his head. But basically, a mall Santa brutalized, and it looks glorious. This poster is so cool. I just love the whole vibe of this poster, and it looks like an axe is going to be Art's main preferred choice of weapon, which is interesting. It'll be a lot of fun seeing Art the Quan fuck some people up with that axe. But you know something? I gotta break down that trailer, because there's so much to unpack from that trailer, even though it's short. I gotta definitely go through and see what I could find. So let's get to that breakdown right now. The trailer starts with Sienna looking ahead ominously into a fire. Looks like it could be a dream sequence, something of a flashback to the fire in Terrifier 2. It's the first time in five years that Sienna sees art or a hallucination, which I will get into in a bit. This film takes place five years after Terrifier 2 and in Terrifier 3, it is said that Sienna is dealing with the trauma that she went through in Terrifier 3, and this shows that. Here we see Art in a festive house, donning the mall Santa outfit, wielding an axe, definitely taking place sometime after he appears at the mall, and kills real mall Santa. I would say this takes place at Sienna's aunt and uncle's house, but I somehow doubt that. Sienna quickly turns around, seeming like she's dramatically reacting to something. I theorize that this is some kind of dream or hallucination tied to the mental break 
due to her trauma. Next, we see a woman acting horrified. It looks like she's trying to get away from Art the Clown. I'm assuming this is a parent who may or may not have witnessed their child getting murdered. Hey, it's just a theory. This man gets grabbed by Art the Clown sneaking up on him. It looks like it could be a construction worker or a homeless man or something or just some urban explorer. This looks like the same area from two of the released photos, one of which being the one with the box cutter, which could be how he got the box cutter in the first place from this guy or another guy we'll see later on in the trailer. Here, we see Art the Clown chopping down on someone. I'll just take a wild guess that it could be a child, possibly the one from the announcement trailer for Terrifier 3, as the environment looks a little bit like the announcement trailer, but you can tell it's definitely not the same room. I think that Art may actually kill some children in this film based on how many kids have been casted in the movie. Art is chopping through the door that the woman is hiding up against. I wonder if there will be a Here's Johnny reference here. Here we see Victoria Hayes looking creepy as ever. The special effects is looking extra amazing here. She seems to be covered in blood. This could be either during the asylum escape scene at the beginning where she gives birth to Art's head or on the Terrifier ride where I assume Art may get his costume back and kill that one guy who looks like he's either a construction worker or an urban explorer. I believe right here is Sienna's haunted uncle trying to calm Sienna down who seems to be freaking out about something. Maybe she saw Art as trying to warn them or maybe she's having an hallucination and that could be why she's freaking out. I know, I know, I keep bringing up hallucinations, but the fact that the events of the previous film left her traumatized could mean hallucinations do play a part, or nightmares, you know, etc, etc. It wouldn't be the strangest thing that happens in this franchise after all. Here we see Victoria Hayes climbing out of a bloodied bath, covered in blood, holding what appears to be a bloody glass shard. Victoria also looks more disturbing here, like she's decaying or decomposing or something. Oh, looks like she came from like a nightmare realm or something. Maybe perhaps the Clown Cafe? I don't know. You know, could you imagine she came out of the Clown Cafe out of the bathtub? And here is our first look at Jonathan Shaw, who looks to be having some sort of freak out. I would say he's looking for something, but that seems a bit unlikely. I take that he's also traumatized by what's happened in the last movie, which is probably why he's throwing this temper tantrum. Here we see Art the Clown in the mall Santa chair, ready to ask some children what they want for Christmas. I wonder if he's gonna cause a massacre in the mall. That would be nuts, and it's not likely. But the way Art lifts his arms up could suggest that he's either welcoming kids to sit on his lap or he killed one of his mall Santa elves or something. We then see Santa running through her house trying to get away from Art. Now here's the actual construction worker because he has the vest and everything but you know he's examining a cobweb covered Art the Clown. I wonder why he's covered in cobwebs. He must have been left dormant for all those five years until, well, five years came, and now he's ready to start killing again. I wonder if this is a part of some prophecy or something. The reason he is left dormant. It seems like Art throws Sienna through a coffee table. God damn. She's in for another brutal beating it seems like. Wow, covered in cobwebs. Art reaches out to the construction worker, which I'm assuming he probably has the box cutter or something. That's my theory. But overall, this whole aesthetic of Art the Clown covered in cobwebs, it reminds me of the original Black Christmas for some odd reason. Art the Clown sits down in this shower area that looks to be 
covered in blood and is only accompanied by a singular severed foot. Off to the side on the left, you can see some environmental damage. This looks to be the kill of the film. The shower scene that Damien Leone speaks of. It does seem like Arthur Clown uses a chainsaw here as he chops through the glass of the shower and cuts up Jonathan's roommates in the shower. They look to be doing some naughty stuff there. Mmm, this will be extra brutal. Some people seem to believe that Arthur Clown may use the limbs of his victims to make a snowman or a Christmas tree. And some even believe we may have an icicle kill to look forward to. Things to really make this sequel extra special and extra festive. This epic trailer ends with Art the Clown making a snow angel, or in this case, a blood angel. Hmm. <laughs> Terrifier 3, coming to theaters October 11th. Make sure to catch it, because I sure will. But that'll be all for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content, and definitely subscribe to become a slasher. All social media links in my merch. Don't below. Thank you guys so much for watching my reaction and breakdown to the Terrifier 3 trailer i'm over the moon fucking excited and it looks so badass based on the trailer man this movie is gonna be fucking kick ass and i cannot wait to see it in theaters this is arthur clown bigger badder and scarier than ever I, I i just love the aesthetic of you know what this film's gonna be it's looking like victoria hayes is gonna be a bigger part of the film which is awesome i don't know if like victoria hayes is supposed to be like Art the Clown's fucking bride or something. We'll see. Until next time, I'm out of here. I'll catch you all next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, guys, to keep on slashing. Uh -huh.